like a streak of lightning flashing across the sky, like a swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow, like a mighty cannonball he seems to fly, you'll hear about him everywhere you go, the time will come when everyone will know the name of failure. later. doing with that deer? Well, it's not a deer. It's only a fawn. And somebody's been setting snares. Yeah. Our snares and traps. You're the one. Yeah. Our traps and our snares. Look, kid, there's no law against trapping. But there's law against thieving from other folks' trap lines. You was going to take that fawn. But it might have died. It's gonna die anyway. Get it burned and put it with the rest. You can't do that. I'd like to know why not. You better call that doggo. And that horse too, Sonny, if you want to keep him alive. Down, Rebel. Easy, champ. Well, look. This little fawn isn't worth much. Oh. I'll buy him from you. That ain't the point. You gotta learn to leave our trap lines alone. Go ahead, Monday. Mm. 
What's on your mind, stranger? So you're the killers. Killers? We're businessmen. Businessmen? Huh. You're ruthless killers for profit. They even wanted to kill us for fun. Well, they're not going to do it. No. That's our trap and it belongs to us. Now look, mister. We got a deal to supply the railroad construction gang with venison and it's plum legal. It don't make no difference how big that deer is or how little. Why don't you stop bothering us? You're not going to kill that fawn. Get in your wagon and get out. What about my rifle? You'll get it back, but not now. You ain't seen the last of us. Gee, mister, I don't know how to thank you. I should really thank you. You've just helped me do my work. Your work? Yes. I'm Jonah Matson. I've come out west to help stop the wholesale slaughter of wildlife. Oh? Well, how are you going to do that? Well, eventually to get laws passed. But right now I'm on my way to see the superintendent of the railroad construction gang. Mr. Craig? That's right. I hope to convince him to stop using venison to feed his crew. Oh, well, my Uncle Sandy will help you, Mr. Matson. He always says something should be done to protect the animals. He knows Mr. Craig, too. Fine. I need local support. Maybe I can go home with you and meet your uncle. Yeah. I'd like to take that fawn on my saddle, but... Uh... <laughs> well, just drop it. Rebel can take care of that. Come here, Rebel. Now pick it up, Rebel. Maybe your idea for game preserves is good, Mr. Matson. Maybe not. There's nothing I can do about it. There's one thing you can do, Craig, as Matson says. Stop feeding your men venison. Yes, at the rate the deer are being killed off by your hunters, they'll be exterminated by the time the line is finished. That's not my luck out. I'm a businessman. If I can buy deer meat cheaper than beef, that's what I buy. Well, if it ain't our pal, this crack must been trying to put us out of business. Don't worry about that. We ain't worried about it. We're plum sore. Him and that kid outside have been robbing our traps and stole Dodge's rifle. Nobody robbed your traps. The boy offered to pay for the fawn. And here's your rifle. I'm warning you. I'm going to put you and your kind out of business. And you're just as bad as they are. You've got a dollar sign where your heart ought to be. Get out. I heard it all. Discourage that tender foot good before he makes any more trouble. Right. I'll keep in touch with you, Sandy. Sorry I blew up at Craig, but sometimes my temper gets the best of me. Ah, oh, it may wake him up. You sure you won't change your mind and stay with us? Thanks, I've taken a room in town. I've talked my idea over with a newspaper editor, and he may run some articles on it. I'll have to keep after him. You ought to get in touch with Bentley Cameron, too. He's the territorial commissioner. Well, he's a friend of ours. And he's a rancher, too. He owns a ranch next to us. I heard he's in Washington. I'll see him as soon as he gets back. We'll let you know. You know, with him on your side, you can corral all the help you need. We 
want to talk to you. Under the circumstances, I have to listen. Now, we're warning you. Get back east and get while you're still able to travel. You're wasting your time and mine. I'm not going to stop until I accomplish my purpose. That came from the direction Max is driving. You stay here. Two blackguard friends. Jonah, you're up against a pretty tough proposition for a man who doesn't know much about the West. Well, I'm pretty tough myself. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. You able to ride home all right? I'll make it. Thanks, Sandy. Leg seems to be all right now. Yeah. You don't sound very happy about it. I'm afraid to turn him loose, Uncle Sandy. Well, keep him then. Rebel, we just gotta figure a way to get rid of those deer hunters. I've got it. Come on. Another one, Rebel? <laughs> oh, good boy, Rebel. Now, go look for some more. I don't know. Every day it's the same thing. I wish I could get my hands on whoever's springing our traps. Well, it's bound to be that Matson hombre or that North kid. Yeah. Well, how are you going to prove it? They never leave any tracks. Well, we've got to do something. If we don't bring in more venison, we're going to lose our contracts. There's plenty of deer in that next valley over there. On the Cameron property? What difference does it make? Well, he's around the place now. He just got back from Washington. Well, he's so busy he won't know what's going on. We'll set a new trap line over there and leave these here. They'll keep right on springing these traps. That's just what I want them to do. If they think we're still trying to trap here, they won't bother us on Cameron's place. You know, it might work. Zona Matson's campaign deserves support. Too long have we Americans wasted the natural resources of our country. Well, you're sure off to a good start, Jonah. Yes. Now, if I can only get Mr. Cameron's help. Well, he ranches here as well as being commissioner. He should be interested. Come in. Oh. Hi, Sandy. 
Got your message. What's up? Well, I asked you over to meet my friend Jonah Matson. Jonah, this is Commissioner Cameron. How do you do? Delighted, sir. Sit down, Ben. Uh, yeah, thanks. Ben, we'd like you to sponsor a bill for game reserves in this area. I know Mr. Matson's activities, of course. Frankly, I don't feel we need game sanctuaries. Not yet. We have plenty of game out here. There won't be any if something isn't done. And now. I'm sure you exaggerate the situation, Mr. Matson. And I'm sure you don't realize the seriousness of it, Mr. Cameron. Well, Ben, these railroad hunters aren't just hunting to live. They're hunting to make money. They're killing mother animals and fawns in their traps. I don't like traps either, Sandy, but after all, it's still frontier. Changes come gradually. Gradually? If you don't know how fast wildlife in America is being destroyed, sir, you are blind. Uh, uh, Jonah, Ben, just a minute. I'm sorry, Sandy. I have more important things to do than argue with a fanatic. I'll show you. I'll force you to take action. I'll carry my fight to the people. I'll get up a petition. I wish you luck. Uncle Sandy, what did Mr. Cameron say? What are you going to do, Mr. Matson? Just what I said. I've got public opinion in back of me. Looking to you, Matson. Here you've been getting a petition signed. What's the matter? Don't you want our name? How many names have you got on that thing? Enough to force Cameron to take action and to put you two out of business. Hey, you have been busy. Give me that. Get moving, Matson. A foot. The way you cover ground, you don't need a horse to get a petition signed. You heard him. Beat it. Maybe we should have finished him off. What for? Cause too much of a ruckus. By the time he gets another petition signed, that construction team will be out of the territory. like a cup of coffee? Uh, don't mind if I do. Black. Fine, Ricky. Sit down, Van. Thanks. Sandy, you losing any stock lately? No, not that I know of. Why? I'm missing some yearlings. Strange part of it is the rustlers are butchering them right on my own land. Oh, thanks, Rick. You know, I found some blood stains and some bones and some hides buried. I'll bet you those deer hunters set another trap line over there. What makes you say that? Well... You see, Uncle Sandy, they haven't been catching much in the old ones, because Rebel's been smelling the traps out, and I've been springing them. Well, that was wrong, Ricky. But isn't it wrong for those men to catch baby animals and let them suffer till they're found? You know, Ben, Ricky might be right about those deer hunters at that. Maybe they have been taking some of your young stock and passing the meat off as venison. Well, boy, they wouldn't dare. But still, I'm missing those yearlings. If we could find the trap line, we'd have proof. I'll ride back to your spread with you. Fine. Could Rebel and I come along? Sure, don't see why not. I'll get Champ to catch up with you.
wagon tracks, Ricky. They're fresh. Dodge and Bunny drive a wagon. Then we're on the right trail. Rebel, go back and find Uncle Sandy. Get me out of this trap! <laughs> well, uh, can you think of any reason why we should help him, Bundy? <laughs> Not while he's fooling with our traps. <laughs> Did you find something? If you leave me here, it'll be murder. We ain't responsible if you've had an accident. <laughs> I've seen enough to be convinced. You stay here. Up where you are. You're under arrest for setting traps on private land and killing my stock. Well, now, just a minute, Commissioner. You've got to hear our side of the story. You're not only rustlers, you're murderers. Prepared to let that man stay there and die. Keep an eye on him. Come on, Rebel. Hold him, Rebel. Come on. Please accept my apology, Mr. Madsen. I was wrong. Are you all right, Jonah? Am I all right? If it weren't for this thing, I'd say I never felt better in my life. Game refuge. No hunting or shooting under penalty of law. Well, it certainly didn't take you long once you made up your mind. Thank you, Commissioner. Well, until I saw you in that trap, I didn't realize how cruel it was to let anything suffer and die that way. Here he goes.